Now for the first battle of tonight, it will be three two minute rounds in the 160 pound catchweight division. Making her way to the cage, out of the blue corner, Amanda Asperon. All right, so like what we were saying earlier, we did not get a chance to speak with Amanda, but we do know a little bit about her and, yes. and, and we see her record. Yes. Um, so I went back there to make sure that all the fights were happening and in what order, and I saw Amanda was back there meditating. So she's ready to go. She's wearing all black, hair in a bun. She's 32 years old. She stands five feet, five inches tall. She weighed in at 153.6 and her current amateur record is 0-5. So I know Amanda has fought at lower weights in the past. Everybody, when they compete, especially when you're a woman, your body goes through so many different things. So uh, changing weights isn't like super uncommon. Um, I'm interested to see what uh, skill set Amanda is going to lean towards tonight. You know, and we saw her at uh, Valkyrie Fighting Championship 1. Um, and it was a it was a quick finish for her for that night, but we'll see if she turns things around tonight. DFC two. She's definitely super excited to be here. Amanda's from this area, right? She's yes. from San Diego. Yes. Yeah. She's, she's local. She's excited yeah. to be here. That's for sure. Ronda Rousey's walkout song. Is that what this is? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And now making her way to the cage out of the red corner, Erin Padilla. So when I went to the back, I saw that I had actually spoken to Erin for a moment without realizing it. Erin uh, looks real big and strong. Let me tell you that. And you'll see when she walks out here. In yeah, a minute. and she's got um, she's definitely got like fierceness about her. So uh, this is her debut. Should be interesting to see what she comes out with today. Yeah, I, I'm actually very excited for this. This is a great matchup for her because you know even though Amanda's 0 and 5, the experience is huge. But I'll tell you, Erin, she's 37 years old. She's tall. She stands 5 foot 10 inches. She weighed in at 158.5 pounds. And she just has a positive attitude. And she looks like she's smiling. She looks like this is just fulfilling a dream of hers. Yeah, you know? that could have been it too. Okay, so I am in my late 30s as well. And I feel like when you get there, when you get to your late 30s, there's something that happens where you stop giving an F. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're just like, you know what? I already did all this stuff in my life before this point for other people and you know to, to maybe like please others to provide for others i want something for myself so maybe that's part of the fierceness i picked up from her yeah, when i yeah. when i spoke to her possibly and I, and I completely understand that you know you know when you get to your late 30s you have life experience you know and you just you live for you you know and um, it's great i mean she's in great shape i wouldn't look at her and guess 37. yeah uh also love the outfit definitely fashion <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this first camo belt will be three two-minute rounds in the 160-pound catchweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. In five fights, she is looking for her first victory. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 153.6 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California. Here is Amanda. Amanda Conde Asperon. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is making her MMA debut. She stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 158.5 pounds, fighting out of Anaheim, California. Here is Aaron Padilla. That's a big, strong woman right there. The referee in charge of the action, Armando Castro. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I expect man, 
Aaron to look to wrestle, and I expect Aaron to look to keep her at a distance and uh, just strike her way to a victory. So we got Amanda with the black shin guards, and Aaron with the white shin guards. Amanda appears to be speaking to her corner while the ref is asking if they're ready. Cutter, you ready? Cutter, you ready? And here we go. Aaron moving forward with punches. Amanda looks pretty afraid oh, of that. Oh, and Amanda is for a takedown. Take Great nice takedown by Amanda. Nice trip. Establishes side control right away. Control wow, transitions to the opposite side. Oh, it looks like she might be looking for an arm Great bar top here. control from Amanda. Let's see if Aaron has, his, um, has grappling skills to get out of here. Good ground and pound from Amanda. Nice hips. I love isolating this top arm and transitioning top position to top position and using her knee. Oh, here comes the armbar, but she's going to lose position if she loses the armbar. Oh, she's not allowed to kick her when she's on her knees. Oh, Amanda's going for the armbar again. Or like an almost block situation. Arm lock. Ooh, wow. She has this almost block that. Oh, she has it. Oh, snap. Ooh, 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 I heard a crack. Nope, nope, Definitely heard a crack. Oh, her elbow's cracked. Go right next to us. The ref is watching very closely. Amanda is definitely about to get this one less. Ooh, Aaron can roll. Wow, great work, great work. Wow, great transition. Great transition. Ooh, that was scary for me for a second. <laughs> Sorry for panicking. Wow, interesting grappling exchanges here. You know, Amanda still has Aaron's arm trapped in her leg. Nice back to it. Great work by Amanda. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Aaron turns into her. Here we go. Great Amanda has an arm still. Great work. Sub hunting here from Amanda. She's really making Aaron have to be defensive all the time, you know? Nice sweep oh, all the way up. Let's go. Amanda. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, ladies. Oh, there we go. Now Aaron wants oh, to stand End of the round. End now. of the round. Amanda does Amanda's not want to get hit. Down. That's for sure. Oh. Flattened her down real Good well. Good sprawl by Aaron. Wow. Okay. All Interesting right. round. So it was Aaron. definitely striker versus grappler. Amanda showed some skills. Aaron showed some fortitude. Am I right? right, right, right. I swear I heard her elbow pop, but oh, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm very impressed with Amanda. But, you know, I think that that's, that's when, you're, when you're the taller fighter, yeah. you have to be aware that that's probably the game plan. They're going to yeah. come out and they're going to look for the takedown. Close the so distance. So, Amanda, it's very likely that she executed her game plan and she got a couple of submission attempts in. She's looking gassed, though. That's the one thing I'm yeah. concerned about. Yeah, and tired. she may lose heart. Getting hit in the face sometimes does make you lose heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, I do think that if Amanda can find it in her, she has the skills to finish the fight. Um, I say that because her transitions looked slick. She went for the double but finished with the trip. She controlled her opponent most of the fight. But Erin, she is big and strong, and she has not been submitted yet. So, yeah. great work. Really interesting fight to watch. Round two. Once again, Aaron is in the, is that Leopard? Uh-huh. Leopard Leopard pants. or Cheetah, yeah. And Amanda's in the blue. Let's see if um, Aaron brings some kicks. Interesting. Or again, Amanda's staying safe with that job. She's probably going to look for the opportunity to take her down. There's the kick from Aaron. Aaron, excuse me. Amanda's got a circle out of here. Amanda, Amanda's looking for the Oh, they're right next to us. Falls to her back, pulls guard, trying to isolate an arm again. Oh, nice sweep. Amanda swept her a bit here, but Aaron was able to get back up. Amanda's got to get head off the mat. So Amanda is allowed to kick Aaron here uh, because she's on her feet. Yeah, well, exactly. She could kick her in the face if she wanted to because Aaron's on her feet. Aaron, however, is kicking Amanda's leg. I'm interested to see if the ref is going to tell him. Yeah, she told her to work. Oh, Amanda's turtling oh, man. up here. A Interesting. Come on. Man, Forcing Aaron to grapple. a big opportunity to hit some punches there by Aaron. Here she goes. She goes for the back take on Amanda. See what happens with his back take and arm isolation here. So if Amanda can sort of... She decides to re-wrestle. 
Half Guard Nation. Julio's back joining us again. Looks like Amanda is just covering up at this point. Getting my mic queued up right now. Good and job sorry, using guys, her legs, so she can keep gotta... making space between the two of them. All right, Erin really needs to take advantage of, the, you know, Amanda just looks tired, you know, she doesn't uh -huh. want to get up. And uh -huh. I, I, really I like think Erin just doesn't know how to finish it from the top. Yeah, yeah, because really Amanda good. is doing a good job of, at the very last minute, going from covering up to bringing her legs between the two of them. So sort of like pushing her away and dictating this. Yeah, this Interesting fight. round. We'll third round. Sorry guys, I was in the back. No, it's okay. You, you have a fight next. Well, yes, you have yes. a fighter. You're one the of corner. our girls is making their debut next. So yeah. I was warming her up. She busted my cufflinks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to owe, owe some money to Friars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a plug. There you go. You guys are not going to charge me no more. <laughs> so, quick update on this one. It's been a very intense two rounds. We're going into the third round. It looks like Amanda's a little gassed, but Aaron um, also has shown skills, but has yet to finish Amanda. So we'll see what happens in the third round. I mean, if you look at the demeanor in the corners, you know, Aaron, she looks composed. Present. She goes into the corner. Yeah. Aware. Amanda looks very uncomfortable, you know. She's I just, she just looks a little tired, a little weathered. It's the third round. But yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. it's crazy because Amanda's still surviving. Yeah. You know what is, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, but but I, I Amanda, she can finish Aaron, but she just has to. Right. You know? Exactly. You have to believe you can. That's it. You have to believe you can. I mean, Amanda's and your demeanor, your posture, that flex, whatever it is. She's standing against the cage. Yeah, that's what we see from Amanda's third round. You never know, though. It's a fight. Here. It's a fight. You never Man, know. Pushing the pressure, oh. reaching. Yeah, yeah, it off. looks like Amanda is uh, not going to change like levels now. Oh, so she's going to pull guard. And Aaron relentless. If, if Amanda can pull top. her into her guard, I think she'd be safer here. I think Aaron just Aaron, tall. Aaron she really needs to, to shove her legs to the side, establish side control. And well, even when Amanda's oh, using her feet to frame, Aaron's so tall, she's able to bend right over the yeah. frame and just still rain down shots. Aaron looks pretty focused with that jab. Amanda worked her way in right there with the double jab that time, which was you know a lot better than how she was looking to get the takedown earlier. Yes. I think she's a little looking bit for the now. takedown. Amanda gets the takedown right in front here. of us. And now she's looking to get on top. Good. If Amanda can get double unders here and climb up to mount, then she would be able to establish. Job. Oh, oh Amanda really oh, oh, is she's looking to get the back. In. And she's working, but she doesn't have the hooks in, and Aaron's defending. And we'll see how Aaron handles the top pressure from Amanda. Amanda's doing some so, of the right stuff. Yep, Amanda's oh, corner is telling her just not to lose position. She wants to finish the round on top. Aaron's doing this interesting tripod situation where Amanda can't take her back, but Amanda is still I working to isolate that arm and now working ground and pound. Oh, and they're back up. Oh, Amanda doesn't want to get it. And Aaron's on her with the strikes to the... Amanda was doing a good job of defending. Aaron is on top. Oh, man, Amanda is just she's tired, you know? So, they both fighters are tired. Aaron's in this north south position, but if. She's working for a submission. She's gasping for air. The referee stops it. Oh, man. Giving her mouthpiece back. That's not over. Giving her mouthpiece back. Yeah, it looks like the mouthpiece came out. Amanda's corner is saying she just has to survive for 20 more seconds. Oh, even less. Aaron's doing a good job of maintaining top position and staying active with the shots. She's definitely doing good on the scorecard. What a cards. crazy fight. Wow. Wow. All right. And uh, I hate to leave you guys again, but I'll be right back. All right. All right. What Julio's an interesting fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, I think it's close. I think, you know, I, I think that the fight was close, technically. I think that. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that the visual aspect, it looks like Aaron is doing more damage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. Um, you know? Yeah, and I do think that the demeanor, the whole like lots of hyperventilating yeah, and like at the bottom, like oh, looking oh. some type of way, yeah. definitely does affect the judges. Uh, but I did see a lot of like crazy aggression off her back from Amanda. Yeah, a yeah. lot of like really interesting grappling, good top control from Aaron. 
um, you know, I could tell that uh, Aaron was hitting Amanda, you know, and yeah. she didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, show of respect. I love it. Well, that's awesome. I mean, it's a great job. I mean, you know, we're, we're either going to have a debut get their win or we're going to have Amanda start yeah, the turnaround. Yeah, of her, right. of her own five record right now. Either way, it looks like uh, they're both going to learn from this experience. That's and, it. Uh, you know, they should both be really proud of themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Great job by both fighters. Bad bitch energy right there. <laughs> And for someone who used to fight at 125, Amanda really held her own at 160 pounds, yeah. if I'm being honest. Yeah. But I, I, if I remember right, I feel like her first fight was also at 160 pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Or like her lat, her first fight here. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yes, so. yes, yes. I remember. I remember that fight. Yeah. I always get a little, oh, uh, what's going on? When it I takes know, long for the, right? for the scorecards, I'm always like, oh. Are they just as confused as we are? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Wow, I mean, great job by both fighters, though. You know, I mean, look, I think that it, it, this speaks to the experience that the younger fighters that we saw earlier has. You know, it's like... These are, this is a debut fighter and a fighter who's 0-5 fighting high for, you know, than what she normally is fighting yeah. in the weight class. Three rounds, we head to the it was tough. They were struggling. No decision. kidding. All three judges to score the contest. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Aaron Padilla. So they gave it to Aaron. Yep. Good job. Nice work, ladies. Battle of the grades. San Diego, give it up for both contestants tonight. Valkyrie fighting. They both put it all on the line out here tonight. Aaron, this is your MMA debut. You laid it down on your opponent. How do you feel right now? I feel great that we had a lot of fun out here. Everyone else had a good time. We're all safe and, and happy. How did you train getting ready for tonight, this being your first fight? You know, this was actually short notice. I was told you, you always got to be ready, so always training. Well, you definitely looked like you were you were keeping her at reach. You were using your striking game. Is that where you're most comfortable standing up? You never know. <laughs> well, congratulations on your first MMA debut. We appreciate you. Are you looking to come out and fight for Valkyrie again? Absolutely. Thank you so much. San Diego, give it up for your winner in your first round. To Aaron. Good show of her by Amanda. Great work. You know, um, I think that if Erin work, works more on her jiu-jitsu, she'll be a real force to be reckoned with. She'll feel much more comfortable with ground and pound. She'll understand, shove those legs to the side and just come around. Get yeah. some, establish side control. Brain punches from side control. And she already escaped submission.